30. The Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community Presents The Mini Biography of Nancy Pelosi Politician Nancy Pelosi became the very first female Democratic leader of your House of Representatives and the first female Speaker of your House. Who is Nancy Pelosi? Nancy Pelosi began her political profession as a volunteer and gradually moved up the ranks, making the leap to public workplace in a unique election for California's 8th District in 1987. She ended up being the very first female Democratic leader of your House of Representatives and the very first female Speaker of your home. Early Life and Career Nancy Pelosi was born Nancy D'Alessandro on March 26, 1940, in Baltimore, Maryland. Pelosi continues the household custom of being associated with politics. Her dad served in Congress and was the mayor of Baltimore for 12 years, and her brother Thomas later acted as mayor of Baltimore too. Pelosi finished from Trinity College in Washington, D.C. in 1962. While a student there, she met Paul Pelosi. The two later married and transferred to San Francisco. They had five kids, Nancy Corinne, Christine, Jacqueline, Paul, and Alexandra. Concentrated on raising her family, Pelosi entered into politics slowly, starting out as a volunteer for the Democratic Party. She hosted parties and aided with projects. Pelosi rose up in the party ranks, acting as a California agent to the Democratic National Committee from 1976 to 1996. She likewise acted as the state and northern chair of the California Democratic Party. Going into Congress. In 1987, Pelosi made the leap to public office, winning a special election for California's 8th District, that includes San Francisco. As a member of the House of Representatives, she has served on the Appropriations Committee and the Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence. Pelosi has been a strong fan of increased funding for health research and for other health care and housing programs and initiatives. She is also an advocate for human rights and the environment. In 2002, Pelosi was chosen to be the Democratic leader of the House of Representatives, making her the first woman in history earn the honor. Four years later, she again broke brand new ground for ladies in U.S. politics. After the Democrats won bulks in both your House and the Senate in the 2006 midterm elections, Pelosi was chosen to become the very first female to take the post of Speaker of your home. Speaker of your House As the leader of the Democratic Party in your House under a Republican president, Pelosi was sometimes a dissentious figure. A vocal critic of President George W. Bush's position on the war in Iraq, she promoted for the withdrawal of soldiers from the area. Pelosi found herself at the center of a controversy in 2009 when the CIA asserted that she had actually been warned of its usage of waterboarding if terrorism suspects a method that Pelosi had actually vocally opposed. Pelosi rejected the CIA's claims. Pelosi lobbied for the development of better paying tasks, access to college education and budget-friendly health care for all, and revised energy policy that focused on cleaner, more effective domestic alternatives. After the election of Barack Obama in 2008, Pelosi was in a position to work with a president of the same celebration. She contributed in pushing for the health care reform legislation that ended up being the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, in 2010, a position that earned her more criticism from the GOP. Minority Leader Pelosi remained House Speaker till November 2010, when Republicans got control of your House and elected John Boehner to the role, relegating Pelosi to Minority Leader. As your House's leading Democrat, Pelosi withstood criticism for her celebration's losses and obstacles to her leadership. Ohio Congressman Tim Ryan looked for to change her as minority leader in 2016 but was unsuccessful. On February 7, 2018, Pelosi delivered a marathon speech on the House floor to protest legislation that lacked protection for dreamers, the children of undocumented immigrants. Making the most of the Magic Minute rule, which enables House leaders to talk for as long as they desire, Pelosi read statements from dreamers and recited Bible passages, in all representing some 8 hours and 7 minutes, a House record going back to at least 1909, returned to Speaker role. After Democrats recovered control of your home in the 2018 midterms, Pelosi was when again elected House Speaker at the start of 2019, positioning her on the front line in the fight with President Donald Trump over his demand for $5.7 billion for a wall spanning the U.S.-Mexico border. The stalemate developed into a controversial 35-day government shutdown, with the Speaker drawing most of the President's ire for her control over congressional funding. However, soon after Pelosi effectively cancelled the traditional State of the Union address, arranged for January 29, President Trump consented to momentarily resume the federal government. After Congress passed a financing expense that allocated only $1.375 billion for the border wall, Trump stated a national emergency on February 15, enabling him to divert cash for other tasks to his wall. 
Pelosi countered by arranging a House vote on legislation to end the national emergency situation, ratcheting up the pressure on Senate Republicans to take a stand on the problem. The gambit settled, as the Republican-controlled Senate likewise voted to reverse the national emergency situation, forcing Trump to provide the first veto of his presidency. The Speaker discovered herself increasingly at chances with the progressive wing of her celebration, in specific, a group of four freshman congresswomen Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez of New York, Ilhan Omar of Minnesota, Ayanna S. Presley of Massachusetts and Rashida Tlaib of Michigan referred to as the squad. After the outspoken quartet voted versus an emergency border financing expense in June, Pelosi fired back at their criticism of her negotiations. All these individuals have their public whatever in their Twitter world, she told the New York Times. But they didn't have any following? They're four people and that's the number of votes they got. Pelosi and the squad quickly reunited in their opposition to Trump, after the president let loose a Twitter diatribe in which he said the four congresswomen of color need to return to their countries. In mid-July, the speaker led a vote to formally condemn Trump's words as racist, the first House rebuke of a president in more than 100 years. Impeachment of Donald Trump After months of resisting calls from progressives to start impeachment proceedings against President Trump, in September 2019, Pelosi revealed that your home would introduce an official impeachment query. The tipping point came with reports that Trump had actually withheld military aid to Ukraine to press its government into investigating the actions of 2020 presidential prospect Joe Biden's son. The president must be held accountable, the speaker said. No one is above the law. On October 31st, the Pelosi-led House took the next step by approving a resolution that developed guidelines for the impeachment procedure, paving the way for public hearings to commence on November 11. On December 10, House Democratic leaders revealed two posts of impeachment, charging the president with abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. On December 18, 2019, one day after Pelosi received a scathing letter from the president in which he knocked the void process, your home voted almost totally along party lines for the two articles of impeachment. The speaker then delayed the process of communicating the articles to the Senate, in hopes of securing terms for a reasonable trial in the Republican-controlled upper chamber, before lastly following through on January 15, 2020. Aside from sending a team of House impeachment supervisors to argue the Democrats' case, Pelosi might do little as Senate Republicans voted against permitting additional witnesses and expressed the belief that the president's conduct did not warrant elimination from workplace. Her frayed relationship with Trump was on display throughout his telecasted State of the Union address on February 4, with the president relatively snubbing her attempted handshake and the speaker ripping up a copy of his speech afterward. The following day, the impeachment legend pertained to an end when the Senate voted along party lines to acquit Trump on both charges.